Hello everybody, this is Steve from Free Sky North America, and today we are going to be looking at Ethosuite. This is long overdue, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to mainly talk about backing up your transmitter, and what I was going to do is just make a video on that topic only, but when I started looking around in Ethosuite, I was realizing there's a lot more to this. So I'm going to give you an overview as we go through, first of all, then I'll get into how you back up everything. Um, all right, so this is what you first see. This is the first use guide. Unfortunately, this is really nothing to pay attention to because this is talking about Ethos version 1.2.0 as an update. We're on Ethos bootloader 2.2.6 right now. Um, so there's not a lot of radios still floating around that have less than uh, Ethos 1.2.0 uh, as a bootloader. So you can ignore this for the most part. If you can get in the bootloader and plug in your transmitter, the main thing is if you see these numbers up on the side right here, and um, then you're fine and you're good to go. Um, okay, update news. The this is where you'd find all the latest information, like what has been updated. You can see that version 1.4.15 has an update for X20 Pro, the X18S, the X20 family. Um, a lot of interesting little updates, not super well explained, but you can tell that there's always something that is being updated about this. And you can also roll down and see what they did in 1.4. Point one four, one three, and then they also talk about the nightlies for 1.5, which is something fun to look at, but I would not play with it until it's ready. Um, it's still in beta right now. Um, the one thing I want to point out before you get out of here is that this message is made really clear, um, and essentially what it says is uh, if you were to Let's say you have Ethos version 1.4.10 and or 1.1, and you say, "Hmm, I would like to update to 1.4.15," and you do it, and then you, you say to yourself, "Man, I'm not really happy with this. I want to go back to version 1.4.10." If you do that, it won't work because the model files have been modified. Every single time you update your transmitter, it updates the model files to the latest version of Ethos. So when you do the update in Ethos Suite, it will take it up to version 1.4.15 in this particular example, and you cannot go backwards. So the only way you can prevent this from um, affecting you is if you actually go in and back up everything before you do an Ethos Suite update. So we're going to be talking at the end here how to do uh, using the model manager how to back up everything. Um, what you'll see is by now you probably figured out that if you hold the enter button down and briefly press the power button you can go into bootloader and it looks like this right here it says USB connected and it'll show some kind of version right there um, but you can also just turn the transmitter on and plug the radio in and then choose the second option which says Ethosuite so I'm gonna plug this radio in and you're gonna see right away the radio is an X20 that's the one I have um, this is the one I got back in the day before the X20s so this is how old school I am um, anyway we are looking at all sorts of interesting things you can see all these green things right here it means I'm up to date for whatever reason it thinks I have German and it's out of date and I'm not really gonna worry about that one too much um, but when things are out of date this is where you would go in and uh, you would hit this write outdated components right there uh, and that would update everything automatically for you Just sit back have a sandwich have fun if you don't like um, the language you're working with you've got a whole bunch of different languages to choose from here as well everything from Hebrew to Italian to Spanish to Portuguese that 
Dutch, German, um, probably Czechoslovakia, Netherlands, and simplified, was this Mandarin or Cantonese? I'm not sure. Um, that's where you would uh, select your language, and you're free to select multiple languages as well. Uh, okay, so write outdated components. So this one is interesting. Uh, if you ever get in a situation where you lose some files, all you have to do is switch over to write all components. And what that does is it writes, overwrites everything. So usually we want to stick with write outdated components because it makes the whole updating process faster. You can also download um, Ethos to your local hard drive and then you can flash from a local file if you feel like doing it that way. Um, and the branches are, it shows the different releases and which branch. You can show the, the stable one and the testing version. I uh, usually want to stick with stable. And see if you go to the testing version, it shows the nightly. Uh, I would rather stick with stable and it shows version 1.4.15 in this particular example. Um, all right, so you know what to do with that. Model Manager is something we're going to talk about in a little while, but this is how you back up and restore everything. We're going to instead go a little bit further. I want to show you one other thing. So FRSK Flasher, what's this about? If you go back to Ethos, and you see right there, there's nothing next to this. It says Module Man Manager or Module Version. This is your internal module, and this is showing the most recent version or whatever version you have on the internal module. And this one is 2.2.6. If you wanted to update it, you have to go into here and you would find your transmitter and you would find, you can see it's 2.2.6 is the most recent one. You can look at details. Um, there's all the things that have fixed, and so there's a little bit of notes there. If you hit download, it's going to ask for a place on your PC or Mac where to put it. And then when you hit flash, it's going to draw that and flash from that file. So very, uh, it's worthwhile. It's an, I'm sorry, it's an extra step you're going to have to do with Ethos. Every once in a while, I should go in and just take care of that. Just check to see if you have the latest version of the firmware, and you should be good. The DFU flasher is, this is for, remember in the beginning I talked about really old radios and then not up to version 1.2.0 of the bootloader. Um, this is how you would do it. You use a DFU flasher. Um, most of us are well beyond needing that, but it's still around for occasionally there's a couple people here and there who still have very old versions of the uh, transmitter and uh, it needs some serious updating. So we still keep that there. Um, okay. So these two are kind of interesting. This is the image tool and audio tool. Um, so if, if you want to have a photo of your plane and put it, you shoot it with your cell phone and you want to be able to, um, Put it into your transmitter how do you do it people ask me this quite often and what you do is you would have to first of all search for it you hit the plus button and you might not be able to see this but there's stuff that popped up on my pc it will ask it will essentially ask you where the file is located so typically what you do is you get the uh, file somehow out of your cell phone you download it onto your pc as a file most likely a jpeg file and you put it somewhere where you can find it. And then you hit this and you find it. This is the plus button that helps you find it. And then the output path is where you like it to go when you want to go find the files later on. And you can just choose the open directory after conversion. Uh, you just, when you're ready, just hit convert and you're free to go. Uh, the audio tool works much the same way. The audio tool is for... Um, Sometimes people, uh, I'm finding that uh, people want to have their transmitters say something. And more and more, it's individualized. So if you want your transmitter to say, you know, deploy grappling hook or something like that, you would go into some place where like Google Translate will go in there and 
you will give you a computer voice of your phrase and will save it as some kind of WAV file or something like that. Um, what you do is very similar to the image tool. You'd have to use the plus, put it on your PC somewhere where you can find it, hit the plus tool to locate it, and then use the output directory or where you want it to be saved to. Um, so it does work. The thing I will tell you is that the sound are pretty exacting. So a lot of times what you get from the free sites for it won't work. It will not work in your radio at all. And you would have to use these converters and they worked perfectly. I've used both the audio and the image tool and they work perfectly. Um, the other thing I will mention too, if you're going to be making your own things, the audio files have to go in your audio folder. And then, um, but they also have to be named. I can't remember if it's 12 characters or less or eight characters. I usually keep it very short for both image and for audio. And that's how you work with that. Repair tool is for internal storage. If you have one of these modernish transmitters that have that use SD cards, they use internal storage. Occasionally, that, that internal storage gets corrupt, and you have to use this to help. Uh, if they if these drives ever get corrupt, you can use this tool to help repair it. Um, okay, I get this question all the time. Where's the documentation? Well, here you go. You can open the FAQ on the Ethos Suite. You can go to the web page to look at the Ethos Manual. You can go to the GitHub page, which is, you know, uh, where we keep our repository for all our different files. There's a bunch of different Lua docs you can download, including ELRS, Crossfire Ghost, and the Multi Protocol module. That's where you'd find it at. And there's even a, a Lua demo script. So, and last but not least, you have the suite settings. So, uh, you can use this for check for updates. You can decide which server you'd like to use the GitHub or the FR Sky one. Uh, you can decide what language you want to use for the suite. All that other good stuff right there. All right, so back to the thing at hand. This is how you back everything up. So the backup location, um, you can, if I go in here and I were to fix this, you might not be able to see this, but I usually keep something under downloads um, where I put in, it's actually where I put a bunch of different files at, and essentially I have little locations for everything. So. Uh, everything related to FR Sky is under a subdirectory under downloads. That's just the way I worked with it. And when I back up, realistically, that's where it should go to. Um, I just put it in the download directory for the hell of it for the time being. You can see the last backup was at 8 o'clock. If I hit backup, I want to show you all the different things you can will back up. It will back up your audio, so your whole audio directory, all your sounds. System bitmaps. So the system bitmaps are not photos of your plane. Those are actual the icons that are used in your transmitter. Um, user bitmaps. So I believe those are your image files for your planes. It will have backup of your ship, your models, your, lo your log files, which are really important, and your system settings. So. System settings are crucial because this is the thing that will uh, help you get your radio back and have a lot of things like your owner ID so you don't have to go through and reset up everything once again from scratch. Uh, you can even type remarks in here such as, um, um, let's say something prior to Ethos 1.5. Okay, so you can make a note. But the second you hit backup, there's no way to cancel it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and then if you ever wanted to, you can restore everything by hitting the restore button. And you go look for your files, and then it will flash them all back onto your transmitter. And you can also use this for backing up from one transmitter, one transmitter and going to the other. So I hope that answers most of the questions you have. I will very much say that... 
I cannot under I can't stress enough how important it is for you to back up your transmitter because man you can lose your transmitter you can drop it you can it can self implode uh, it can do a, a gazillion things but if you have your model files then all you have to do is get another transmitter and throw them on your new radio and you're ready to go it's that's the nice thing about these computerized radios is you can back up everything um, I mean there is one guy I fly with occasionally and uh, he was telling the story about his how his garage got broken into and he said he had a 10 year old spectrum transmitter and he was the thing he lamented the most was not the stuff that got stolen not even the transmitter it was all the files all the models he had set up throughout the years were now suddenly gone you know how the power you never have to that be something you need to worry about um, so please 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 restore or I should say back up your transmitter often you should always back it up before you update ethos suite put your files in some place where you can find them so in the case you need to restore them for any reason you're ready to go thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments